Thursday's Google Doodle honors virologist Michiaki Takahashi, who developed the first vaccine against chickenpox. In 1963, Takahashi's young son got very sick. The young boy had a high fever, and waves of small red bumps, which eventually became blisters and then open sores, covered his body. He'd become one of millions of kids in the U.S. who, until 1995, got sick with chicken pox every year. And his dad, a doctor from Japan who had come to Texas on a research fellowship at Baylor University, decided to do something about it. Soon after returning to Japan in 1965, Takahashi started working on a vaccine that would save kids like his son from having to suffer through chicken pox. He started with a sample of varicella zoster, the virus that causes chicken pox, from an infected child. 200 years ago, that would have been close to the end of the story. Throughout the 1800s, Doctors who wanted to vaccinate their patients against smallpox simply collected pus and scabs from people infected with cowpox and horsepox, which don't make people nearly as sick as their cousin, smallpox. They simply rubbed the virus-laden mess into cuts or scratches on the patient's arm, which makes getting a shot, especially a shot of something that's never been in another person's body, sound like a walk in the park by comparison. Fortunately, by 1965, virologists like Takahashi had more scientific knowledge at their disposal. Takahashi spent the next nine years growing varicella zoster in a series of cell cultures from humans and guinea pigs, gradually breeding a weaker version of the virus. He called this weakened, or attenuated, version the Oka strain and it's the basis of the vaccine that protects kids against chicken pox, and older people against shingles, today. The chicken pox vaccine became available in Japan in 1986 and in the U. in 1995. Since then, millions of kids in more than 80 countries have had a shot. Chicken pox is a disease caused by a virus called varicella zoster. Most of the time, it infects young children, causing an itch or painful rash, which gradually evolves into blisters that burst and scab over. Along with the rash come fevers, headaches, and fatigue. The zoster also causes another illness, called shingles. While chicken pox is usually a childhood illness, shingles most often strikes older adults. That's thanks to the virus complicated life cycle, which we still don't fully understand. When a person first gets infected with V zoster, the virus causes chicken pox. Once those symptoms fade, after about a week, the patient is healthy and no longer contagious, but the virus may be lying in wait. Somehow, this is the part we don't yet fully understand, V zoster can lie dormant in the person's nerve cells for decades. When it reactivates, for reasons we also don't yet fully understand, it causes shingles, a much more painful rash, which also comes with blisters, 